I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Colorstay 24 hour foundation never lets me down in the shade fresh beige number 250 I chose a very full coverage foundation because the secret to a good-looking strong bold lip is actually the skin if the skin looks very flawless it makes the lips come forward and look a lot more crisp next I am picking up charcoal brown by Mac to fill in my brows with a flat liner brush I'm just lightly tracing in my brows on any of the sparse areas. I am going to reach into my first naked palette with a blender brush and I'm going to pick up some naked matte light brown eyeshadow and we are going to focus this all over the lid, keep it really simple, but this is just going to warm up the eyelids a little bit. I'm using just a little fluffy brush by MAC, this is the 217, I love it because you can place the color with the belly side right onto the lid and a little bit up into the crease. Then when you get to the crease, you can use the tip to blend it out so there are no, no harsh, harsh edges whatsoever. So it's a really nice multi-purpose brush for blending out shadows. Next, I'm going to take a virgin on my pinky here. I always like to use my pinky as my inner corner tool and my brow bone tool. It's just, just enough of the right size and saves me a brush to clean. So what I do is I look straight ahead into the lens or the mirror and I just pop it right on my inner tear duct here just to open up the eye a bit. Also going to place this color right underneath the arch of my eyebrow, of my eyebrow, of my eyebrow, and I'm not going to place it too harsh. I don't want it to be like a disco ball under there. I'm just going to gently have a subtle iridescence on the brow bone so it catches the light nicely. I'm going to take a gel liner, and this is Black Track by Mac. Start in the center, and I never go create one line all in one, that's too much pressure. So what I do is just do little dashes and then I connect it to make one full line. And I honestly don't know how thick I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go until, until I feel like stopping. I went about halfway up my lid, which actually makes my lashes look thicker, which I like doing in this kind of look. Strongly suggest an eyelash curler that's gonna pump up your lashes and give them a little bit of a boost. The eye torture machine. Then I'm taking Max Hot and Naughty Mascara, and I'm going to use the volumizing side. If you guys haven't seen this kind of mascara, it's a two-in-one mascara. It has a dual wiping system, so the glitter side has a very volumizing full end while the just straight purple side, or I think sometimes this part is pink, then you get a skinnier, more day-appropriate mascara look, or you can use this for the bottom lashes as well. Next, I am going to skip to a blush slash bronzer. I love using my MAC Prism Blush Slash Bronzer. It does the job of carving out my cheekbones and giving a slight pop of color. It's kind of a two-in-one style product, and since I am doing such a bold lip, I want to keep the cheeks and temples very neutral. Here is the fun part. We are gonna start on the bold lip. This is CoverGirl's Lip Liner in Passion. It's a very nice, soft lip liner. I'm just going to trace the outline of my lips to start. I also like to lightly fill them in to provide a base for the lipstick. It makes it last a lot longer, especially in the hot summer days. Next, I am taking Max Ruby Woo. I think it is a staple in every girl's collection. So 
this is the completed look. I hope you all enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Let me know what you think or if you have any questions at all. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care. Bye.